mastering the course BLE 601 Philosophy, Psychology and Systems in Education. This is Unit 4, Psychology in Education. We, uh, Professor Sutida and myself, uh, Dr. Chayong, will lead you to study the concept of psychology, the definition of psychology, definition and scope of learning theories, and then we divide uh, psychology into two contexts, traditional educational psychology and modern new normal psychology. And we ended by uh, telling you the application of psychology in teaching and learning and the application of psychology in educational administration. So in this first episode, uh, first clip of our video, I will lead you to think about the concepts of psychology. We will define educational psychology and also definition and scope of learning theories. So let's start the first one. In order for us to work well, usually it would be very inactive, very passive to let you listen to Ajahn Chayong or Ajahn Sutida alone. We would like you to make a small group called burst group. Burst group in normal sense in the classroom, it means the person sitting to next to you at your left, at your right, and then you pull and discuss something. So we call bus group two to three people only to form the bus group. But now we are requesting you to form online bus groups, OBG, online bus group. The purpose of online bus group is that you pair with two or three friends by setting up a small live group. Here, WeChat group or WhatsApp group, or in Thailand you can have a live group. But you know, in some country like China, you can not make use of uh, American originated programs or like Google or YouTube, but you have your own, you see, like two or some other things. And then after you found your bus group of three, you add me and Professor Sudhita to your group. So you have five in your group, so whatever you, dis you are discussing, I may join, Professor Sudhita may join you. This will be permanent bus group for you. During your studying this 601 course, during this period, okay, you may make use of this bus group as your study team during the PhD program of long life academic and professional team. Meaning what? Meaning that after you finish your degree from here, you still may make use of this team to continue your career, your professional career. Mm. So these two or three people, including myself and Professor Tida, will become your professional team your PLC, Professional Learning Community, small one in the future, okay? So 
Uh, maybe you will stop this video program now and start to form your team. Let's continue. After you form your group, we'll give you 30 minutes for you to discuss among your friends, two, two or three, two Christians. What is the difference between educational psychology and learning psychology? Okay. The difference between education psychology or learning psychology theories. Okay. What are the major types of educational psychology? Number two. So question number two. Now after you discuss these two questions, write down your answer in one to three page of summary. Okay and submit to the assignment of this Google Classroom or put in any place we chat and send it to us. Okay. And you may be asked to give a report to the whole class. Okay. So stop now and you will talk, discuss among your friends for half an hour. And after then Come back. This course again. Good luck. Okay. Now you have already spent your time discussing with your friends in bus group online, and then you may have being asked to give your report or bus group in your class. Now let's start with our content, our concept and content of this first clip. Definition of psychology. Okay. The word psychology comes from two words, psyche and logos or logia. Psyche, it means the mind. Okay, logos or logia means the study of. So psyche plus logos becomes psychology. It means the study of mind. Okay, later on you know that there was one person in the past who was very great about mythology, the study of my mythology, which is English, you see, uh, but psych psychology is more of a Latin plus a Latin word, psychology. Mythology, uh, the study of mind. Okay, uh, you might have been to Google and study the meaning of psychology. But this is some of the conclusion, not the definition, but just a definition. Okay. Psychology is the study of mind and the outcomes of physical, measurable, and observable performance called behavior. So this is a Western idea of psychology. Uh, originally, psychology is the study of mind, but they, later on, because of they do not practice how to generate the power of mind, so they cannot have any tools or instruments to prove whether what they see or what they hear is true or not. So later on, they concentrate the term psychology to what you call physical, measurable, and observable performances called behavior. So for Western psychologists, they understand that the mind 
and the brain are the same thing, but actually they are not, according to Buddhism. If the brains and the mind are the same thing, after four minutes, the brains are dead because of the cells in the brain do not have oxygen, oxygen, so they all die. But in many cases, you can see that a person, after being announced dead, they become alive again, you see. There are many cases. Two or three hours later, they come back. They become alive again, even one or two days. In the coffin, they wake up. But they can still remember who are their fathers, mothers, sisters. They remember all the past. What? How, how could that happen if the brains already dead? How could they remember? That's why we believe that brain and mind are not the same thing. All of the memories are stored in the mind because the mind means the collection of information. Everything you see, you hear, you smell, you touch will be transformed, transmitted into your mind. And it keeps in your mind. Even after you are dying, after you are dead, after you die, after you are dead, and when you reincarnate or be born again, the information from your past lives are restored back to your brain. So you can remember part of that. Do you hear of the story of people who remember the past life? This is the proof that the brain is not the same as the mind, okay? So this is this definition is uh, mostly Western. Psychology is the state of mind, and the outcomes of physical, measurable, and observable performance is called behavior. Psychology is an academic discipline which seeks to understand the individuals and groups by establishing general principles and researching specific cases. Okay. Now, what are the types of psychology? Okay. Uh, types of psychology, sorry. Not uh, type of education psychology. Psychology is divided into increasingly various types. Okay. Uh, first, you study general psychology. Then there, there's uh, social psychology, educational psychology. Now it's expanded to industrial psychology, management psychology, and even communication psychology. Among the politicians, they may have political psychology also. Okay, okay come to the word or the term educational psychology. What does it mean? What is the definition? Psychology, we know that is the study of mind and the outcome of physical, observable, measurable behaviors. But in education, we call it education psychology. It's, of course, it's a branch of psychology dealing with the application of psychological theories to educational three, administration, academy, and services. Okay. Education psychology, to make it more specific, 
is the study of learning processes from both cognitive behavioral perspectives to allow researchers to understand individual differences in intelligence, cognitive development, effective motivation, self-regulation, and self-concept, and the role in their learning. Thank you.